Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another unboxing for you and I'm gonna be unboxing the cheapest accordion on eBay. It was $19.97 at least at the time that I purchased it, sub $20 accordion. Now, as you can probably guess, I found it in the toy section, not in the musical instrument section, um, but it does say that it is able to play to pitch, so I guess we're gonna find out. Now, I'm, not, I'm no stranger to toy instruments. You guys remember I did an unboxing of this here uh, glockenspiel back here. And this uh, toy piano over here, which I actually ended up adding a, a pickup So, um, you know, let's give this baby a shot. But so this is a sub $20 accordion. No idea what to expect. I am not an experienced accordion player. So, you know, I'm not sure if I would know a good accordion from a bad accordion anyway, but let's give it a shot. So, here she is, <laughs> the accordion. It just says accordion on it. I don't even see a brand name. 103A, made in China on the top. That's about it. So let's get this box open. Oh, it's kind of cool. It's got a little like carry. Like, see that? You can use this as a little carry case for your <laughs> for your accordion. But let's go ahead and get it unboxed here. We've got a manual, which appears to be in Chinese or some Asian language. I think that's Chinese. Oh, okay, it's got English on the other side. Hold on. Yeah, it's got English on part of it and uh, Chinese on part of it. So um, here we go. We'll look more into that in a minute. Then we have uh, we have the accordion. So that's it. Um, there's some little pieces of cardboard that came flying out of there when I took it out, but they aren't part of the instrument. It does not appear. Here she is. <laughs> this is. It's got, oh, it's actually got notes on here. I don't know if you can see this. It's actually got notes on here. So we've got C, E, G, C, E, G, B. Okay, that's cool. So we've got some notes on there. And then we have, it says air valve over here and there's three buttons here. So I'm not sure what those do quite yet. They may produce the bass note from this side. It does look like there is a sound outlet on this side and here on the top or the side. I'm not sure how you, Classified accordion. Um, and then it looks like it's got a strap here that unsnaps. Oh, on both sides, it's got a strap that unsnaps. And we've got what appears to be like a leather handle here and uh, a little thumb piece, I guess. Yeah, it looks like you do this. And so what happens if we open it? Nothing. Yeah, that's pretty hard to pull. Now, I'm gonna guess, you push one of these valves. Okay, pushing one of these valves, I get sound out of this side. God, it is hard to pull apart. And if I push one of these, I get sound out of this side. I don't know how well that's gonna uh, come out on the video, but this, so these uh, allow the reeds to vibrate on this side, and these appear to allow the reeds to vibrate on the other side. Now, Good golly, that does take some serious pulling to get air in there. Probably doing something wrong, but, uh... Oh, they do... That one doesn't seem to... Okay, that one just seems... Ah! <laughs> that's so you can open it. Okay, that's why it says air valve. I got it. So this one allows you to... Ah, okay, that's so much better. And then it looks like there's two different notes. Or this note. And then on this side, we've got several different notes. Again, I am no accordion player, but um, yeah, let's see how this goes. So I'll use this to open it. Ah, oh, that's so much easier now. Well, let's see what happens here.
Okay, that was terrible. Um, obviously, I've not played an accordion before, but the point being, it does actually seem to make noise. Now, let's see how close these pitches actually are. I'm gonna grab a tuner here, and let's uh, just see. So this top one should be a C. It's registering it as a sharp C on the tuner. This one should be an E. It's registering it as a sharp E again. And this one should be a G. So it is a bit sharp. Um, let's see how this side does. That's definitely a C and that's pretty close. What about this one? Oops, this one. That's also a C and it's actually pretty close. Now, one thing I'm noticing here, the pull and the pull, uh, draw and push or whatever you want to call it, um, appear to be different notes. So like this one, when I go out, it's a B, and when I go in, it's a C. And both of them are sharp. And same thing over here. When I go out, it's a G, when I go in, it's a C. So um, kind of similar to our harmonica, there's a different blow and draw note. Um, again, I'm, I'm no expert on this instrument, but let's just see if I just clown around with it, if I can get something that sounds pretty cool. Okay, so there you have it. There was an unboxing and a little attempt to play this here uh, $20 accordion I got from eBay, the cheapest accordion on eBay. And um, I mean, honestly, it does make sound and it doesn't sound terrible. Um, it's not quite in tune, but you know, what are you gonna expect for 20 bucks? But I mean, like if you were trying to do something interesting, I mean, I'll, I'll find a way to use this. I'll find a way to put this in a song or something. I'll, I'll figure it out. So it, it, it could add a cool effect. Um, it'd be a great thing for a kid, but uh, you know, keep in mind that uh, you are gonna hear that. If you give that to a kid, you're gonna be hearing that all day. Um, but it is kind of a neat little thing, certainly worth the $20 in my opinion. One thing I will notice, I will note, is that, you know, if I, now that I understand how to use this, push the air valve and you can, that bellows is really noisy. Like, you could probably hear it there when I was doing that little kind of improv with it, that the crunching of the bellows is almost louder than the notes. Um, so if you're going to record it, you might have to have to figure that out accordingly so you don't get all bellows noise. But, you know, I mean, overall for, for, you know, kind of a little toy that you could actually use on a track, not too bad. And guys, if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. This channel is all about musical miscellany. I'll see you in the next episode.